portal storage smell. That looks so clean in comparison to like the main screen. Damn. Nineteen fifty-two. Gosh. Is this thing on? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait, wait. Where are we again? Can't sit down. Uh-huh. Okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. Cool. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some yeah, nice music for you. Bitch. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, nice. I mean, the graphics look old, obviously, but they don't look that old. You know what I mean? Like, they were probably very innovative for the time when the game came out. I would guess. You're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get out of here. How do you spell station? Okay. Think about that for a second. Nice. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back to your things. Because you're fired! What? Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. Damn, we just fired him for misspelling oh, stage. I can't record this. I really dig the music, not gonna lie. Here we go. They cannot go on the other side. There's like fences. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Oh. Cool. Hello, mister. Hmm, okay. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Okay. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. That is not good. Why is that not good? I don't like that. Poor thing. So, 
At first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chickened out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. What is alarm? Please keep Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. With what? Introducing the Aperture Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They Damn. seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my guys. That is cool. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when I threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Huh. Okay, there's only something to see in one direction, all right. Damn, though. Like... That is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda feel like I need to put the audio down a little. I feel like that didn't do anything at all, but okay. <laughs> when you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry though, our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Got an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry, we've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Alright, yeah, I don't believe that we're going to be asleep just if we don't have legs. God damn it, not again. I forgot the fucking legs at home again. I cannot jump out. Yeah, I can't. So, right. as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six yeah. signs, boys. Disappear, is it? I don't even know what turrets he's talking about. I don't see any turrets. Alright. No one's here, huh? Oh, 
Oh, is that the turds? That is like the beta of the turds. God damn. So this is green too. Don't worry, those turrets won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy airy lights, me. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. What about this one though? Okay, never mind. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Carolyn. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. The lab boys will take care of the rest. Good, let's go to sleep. We have, we do have like Scott. I just didn't see them. Never mind them. Good night. And we're gone. I'm pretty sure that's sirens. And we were like asleep for like years. Oh yeah. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right. You can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a... Uh, Slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Yeah. It looks like nothing has changed, definitely. Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boot. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. That was easier to think of than I thought. Okay. There's no other are still functioning normally. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry. Well, this is the prototype portal gun. Damn. Don't mind all this too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of mm. earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. Yeah. I know, I know, like, so many. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's uh, how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. Surely. Alright, so, the earthquakes. Kinda did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Can... Oh, another turret. Like, uh, whoop. I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Beyond that door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, completely new. Get through it and head to the first testing sphere. I'll let you know now, more there. I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Okay. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and installed one where people needed to go through. Turn the power off, 
you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The other is tricked by a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility's power grid to blow up. So, remember, the one in here is good. All others okay. are bad. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Beep. Boop. Do I jump? I don't know if I can swim. I can't even jump, okay. 